dunnage straps. So what's dunnage? Well, dunnage is uh, four by fours or any kind of wood, yeah, as you can see. You put it underneath the product so that the forklift can go underneath it and everything and just set it down. And so it has multiple points of contact over here on the uh, on the trailer because the trailer is actually rolled a little bit. And if you didn't have that, it'd just be touching the middle and kind of teeter. But also to uh, keep, so the forklift can go underneath it and everything, keep everything uniform. Anyway, so that's that's what dunnage is. Well, technically, dunnage, uh, strictly speaking, is anything that holds the, the load in place. So if you're uh, pulling a dry van and they nail together some structure to hold whatever you're um, hauling in place or support it, like a shelf or something, technically that's dunnage too. But here in flat with, with flatbeds, it's usually just timbers, timbers and, and pieces of wood, four by fours and things like that. And if you're hauling super coils, some guys haul six by six by sixes or five by fives, you know, something like that. Five, four, uh, four by six by fours or, or whatever to get a little bit extra extra meat underneath that coil. But the point of this video is, well, I'll give you a basic about dunnage, but the time you're hauling it on a flatbed, you need a dunnage strap. Now I'm gonna do a video about bulkheads and how to chain those down. That's right, chain. You never strap down a bulkhead. That's when you take about four four by fours and you stack them in the front to keep things from sliding forward, or it's just to store your four by fours. But like I said, I'll do a video later on how to chain those down because uh, I don't have one built right now. It takes a while. Uh, but it's the gunner straps. Okay. Now this one I kind of cheated because I usually just have a one inch ratchet strap. But the ratchet broke and so I had to think quickly. Well, I just had this one inch piece of strap here end to end, you know with no hook on it or anything. So what I did was I wrapped it around the dunnage here and put it underneath here, you know, to pull this up. And then I put it in a winch and I tightened up that winch. So basically this is just pulling this down to keep it from sliding forward. But you definitely, definitely need a uh, some kind of dunnage strap. Some kind of actual strap holding down your dunnage and not just bungees, and you can use bungees on one end or whatever to keep it, you know, this end from moving. But if you don't use a strap, you'll get a big ticket, and they won't let you, if they're, if they're douchebags, they won't let you leave the way station until you get it strapped down or something. In that case, if you don't have one, you can just build a bulkhead, like I said, as long as you have a spare chain. And, uh, more on bulkheads in a in a later video. This is Mel with Tisha Truckers. Have a great day.